Hi, I'm Katherine Saxby, an internal medicine physician at Meeting House Lane Medical Practice here in Southampton, New York. So today we're going to talk about cholesterol. I know that you hear cholesterol mentioned often in your internal medicine physician offices. We talk about it almost on a daily basis. But what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is an actual waxy substance, or what we call a sterile, that our body makes to help with different functions in the body. It helps with cell membranes, it helps to form different steroids in our body, and it helps transport many things around our body, so we do need it. However, sometimes our cholesterol can get a little bit too elevated, whether that's from our own liver making that cholesterol or from dietary sources that we consume. So when you hear cholesterol, you often hear us talk about what's good and what's bad cholesterol. So what does that mean? So good cholesterol, which is our HDL, is called the high density lipoprotein. And what that means is it's more protein dense and its functionality is actually to take cholesterol from the body transport it to the liver itself to process it out. Now LDL, which is considered the bad one, LDL is actually the low density lipoprotein and that actually goes throughout our body and carries cholesterol throughout the body and can disperse it anywhere. So what does that mean of why is it bad? Well, what happens with LDL cholesterol is it is the one that's notorious for blocking our arteries. So it can actually form plaques that can block different arteries, so we call it bad. It doesn't mean that it's not doing a good function in our body, it's just that it can become bad. So when you look at your cholesterol, sometimes just your genetics can impact having high cholesterol, but there are some modifiable risk factors, such as making sure to stop smoking, or make sure you have a healthy weight to avoid obesity. Another one is to make sure to check your blood sugar and that you're not in a diabetic range or with hyperglycemia. All these things can help reduce your risks of having high cholesterol. So there's a lot that goes into raising your cholesterol. Like I mentioned before, your liver does make cholesterol, but often you can get cholesterol and where it can get really high is when we have a diet that is largely consumed of animal products. So a lot of saturated fats from those animal products. Um, if you have fried foods, so the oils that can come that are saturated, those things can elevate your cholesterol. There's ways to help improve your cholesterol as well. Uh, one of which is to make sure that you have a diet that's high in leafy green vegetables, whole grains such as oatmeal, nuts, seeds, legumes, beans. Those are all things that really help to improve your cholesterol. Things like fish that are high in omega-3s, so salmon, are excellent to add into your diet as well. And that can really help to pull up that HDL level, which is your better, good cholesterol. Uh, there's plenty of medications on the market that can affect your cholesterol in a positive way. Uh, the first and foremost is statin medications. They can help reduce your LDL and also your triglycerides and even marginally help increase HDL. There's also medications like cholesterol absorption inhibitors such as Zetia that help to lower your LDL as well. And then even some medications themselves that can help elevate HDL such as niacin or even some prescription omega-3 fatty acids that we can use to help increase your HDL medications as well. So when you're trying to lower your cholesterol with your provider, diet can actually lower your cholesterol in as low as four weeks. You can see a marginal change. And then if you're taking a medication like a statin, you can actually see a decrease or a stabilization of your cholesterol in about six to eight weeks. Typically, it's recommended to have your cholesterol rechecked in around the 12 week, so about three month mark, that you can really see an impact or change in your cholesterol. So at the end of the day, just to summarize, what can someone do to really help make sure that they have healthy cholesterol? And the answer is really making sure that you eat healthy, you exercise, you avoid those risk factors that we talk about, but also that you're getting your cholesterol checked regularly with your internal medicine physician.